Doc Hudson was one of the most significant characters in the world of cars, but from one movie to another, he just simply disappeared. The reason is much deeper than you can imagine. But before I tell you how Doc died, please leave a like and comment. How do you think the great Hudson Hornet met his end? Now, let's get started. The voices behind the Cars characters are carefully chosen, and Doc is no exception. The doctor and judge of Radiator Springs is voiced by Paul Newman, who stopped appearing since Cars 2 due to his passing. Although the second movie almost completely ignored the town of Radiator Springs, Cars 3 confirms that Doc Hudson had already passed away. This created a much larger plot hole than the tiny town itself. So, what role does Paul Newman play in the character's disappearance? This important actor who had serious problem with the real-life McQueen left the world a few years before the release of the second movie. With his passing, he took Doc Hudson with him. Back then, the character's death wasn't officially confirmed. Fans simply assumed it to be true when they didn't see him return. Like Doc, Paul Newman was a great racing driver, and not just an amateur. Paul was a true master who competed in those big leagues similar to the Piston Cup. As a serious fact, his iconic racing car color was light blue, not dark blue. This is why Dinoco and the Kink reference Paul Newman's own racing career. He loved the idea of voicing a racing car in an animated movie that's paid tribute to the world of racing. He passed away at the early age of 83. Well, he wasn't junk, but the truth is, the actor was in great shape. Even at almost 80 years old, he was still acting. That's why everyone was shocked to hear of his death. The reason for his death was lung cancer, likely due to excessive smoking. But did the character suffer the same fate? There's no official confirmation that Doc died of cancer because he's a car, and it's difficult to confirm that cars can develop such illnesses, but it could happen. The answer can be found in Cars 1, when Doc was performing a checkup on Sheriff. Remember that Doc was a doctor of Radiator Springs, so why would they need a doctor if cars couldn't get sick? Since cars used their tires and arms as legs, all the internal mechanisms of a car could be considered their organs. Therefore, Doc could have a part that functions as his lungs. Just like we saw in Cars 2, cars can be infected with Bluetooth, so cancer could exist in the world of cars. After all, they are not immortal. We've seen many cars that we know have died in one way or another, either through accidents or some mechanical failure. There's only one clue about Doc's death, and it's in Cars 3 when McQueen looks at a photo and remembers him fondly. Many dare to believe that Doc died of old age, but that doesn't make any sense. Smokey, who was Doc's mentor, is perfectly fine, and being older than Doc, he's much older than McQueen. This further supports the theory that Doc may have suffered from cancer or something similar. The most well-known theory about Doc's death accepted by many is that he died of a heart attack. This would mean accepting that car parts function as organs and can fail. If that were the case, Doc would have had heart problems because he was already very weak. Unlike the actor, Doc was canonically older. As in the first Cars movie, he was supposed to be in his 90s, which makes me wonder, how old is Smokey? The old-timer could easily be 120 years old and still be training competitors. But another answer could be as simple as returning to Doc Hudson's youth. As we all know, Doc Hudson had a severe accident while racing, and that's why he had to leave the sport. The doctors didn't want to fix him because it seemed almost impossible for him to return to racing. But the fabulous Hudson Hornet became a doctor so he could fix himself. He succeeded, and when he came back, he wasn't accepted. He kept racing by his own, but perhaps he didn't fix himself right. It wasn't just one doctor who denied him to return to racing because of the severe damage he suffered, but there were several, including the best ones who were sent from the Piston Cup races, which is highly prestigious in the world of cars. So, 
what makes us believe that this novice in medicine could learn many things on his own and fix himself? It's possible that something went wrong during the surgeries he performed on himself. Perhaps he didn't turn out well, causing all the mechanisms to have some kind of corruption, slowly deteriorating his engine over the years. And with each race he ran, like the competitions we saw, he was damaging himself more and more. The last time we saw Doc Hudson was in a post credit scene, when he raced at full speed and even drove off of a cliff, where we saw McQueen fall. It could be that this was his last race, and after that his heart failed. Or perhaps all the poor repairs he did led to the development of some type of cancer in the car. When he was racing, he was very young, but as we mentioned before in the movie, he should have been in his 90s. So year after year, his own engine slowly started to deteriorate. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you'd like to know the ages of the car's characters. But there's another theory that aligns more with Doc's personality. We've never seen any car smoking in cars, but we know that Doc is prone to accidents, despite being a professional racer. Doc has had to deal with two or three crashes, and one was the reason for his retirement. But would he be foolish enough to have another accident? We could say yes because no matter how professional he was, he and McQueen share the same problem. They are crazy and never give up. They are also arrogant and would give everything to go at maximum speed, even if it's just for one last time. If we look at Doc and try to understand him, we'll realize that the idea of dying in an accident, giving everything you have to race one more time, is something that Doc would unquestionably accept. That would explain why Doc died before his mentor, and it would also explain why McQueen wasn't as sad in Cars 2, because he understood that Doc wanted to race in one more final competition, even if it meant dying in the process. The theory that he died in a race is almost a fact. We find the answer in a car short called 500 and a half, where there's a race with the same name, and different competitors participate to cross a circuit around Radiator Springs. In one scene, we can see a car cemetery, and there we can see a door that closely resembles Doc's. So, the old car could have died during the race, and his body remained in the cemetery. That would definitely be a fitting end for a professional racer. A quite disturbing fact is that McQueen participated in the same race, so he could have died there, and we wouldn't have had Cars 3. So, we know that Doc died because the actor who portrayed him also passed away, but does that mean we won't see him again? Maybe yes! Owen Wilson, the actor who voices McQueen, is very interested in seeing the character return, and nowadays there are artificial intelligences capable of replicating voices. So, in an upcoming Cars movie, they could bring back the actor's voice. But with Doc, there's a significant issue that happens with another characters in movies and TV shows. When a respected actor or actress dies, it's a tradition to let their characters rest in peace, as replacing them can be somewhat rude, especially when the characters are beloved or crucial to the storyline. That's why they introduced Moki, to have a small role as Doc Hudson, and eventually his replacement became McQueen himself. However, let's not lose hope. Hudson Hornet could return in the form of a flashback or a brief cameo, because Hudson is a very important character for Radiator Springs, and you can't talk about Radiator Springs without mentioning Doc. Another curious reason why people think Doc Hudson died is related to a theory that he was a serial killer of Piston Cup Racers. This theory arose because apparently he wanted to kill the Lighting McQueen. But as the story progressed, Doc Hudson realized that change was possible, and he couldn't live with his evil past anymore, so he either committed suicide or simply escaped from everyone who knew him, faking his death to start a new life. If you'd like to know more about this theory that Doc Hudson wanted to kill the Lighting McQueen, 
we will soon have a video dedicated to this theory. So, how do you think Doc died? Leave your theories in the comments.